Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is November the 1st of 2023, and I'd like to share another message with you from the Lord today. Just a short note to thank all of you who continue to participate by leaving comments on my page. I appreciate that you take the time to watch these videos, to be encouraged by them, and to respond to them. May the Lord bless you. I'd also like to welcome any of you who are new to this channel and invite you to subscribe and to click the notification bell for further videos if you enjoy this video today. The Lord has been speaking to us about his takeover that he is taking over the kingdoms of the world. We might call these mountains of influence. We recognize that there is much ungodliness in our society and in these places of influence. And one of these mountains, the one the Lord is speaking about today, is the church, the mountain of religion. Without further comment, I'll go right into this word, beginning with Scripture. The title of this word today is, I am exposing pretenders. I'll begin reading. Deuteronomy 4, verse 29. But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. This scripture verse highlights what the Lord expects of us to gain his response. We need to seek him with all of our heart and soul. John 4 verse 23 Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. This scripture verse highlights the true believers. They will worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Malachi 3 Verse 18, and you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. This scripture verse assures us that the Lord sees the hearts of people, that he discerns between the righteous and the wicked, and that he will make a distinction between the two. I'll begin reading. I am taking over, says the Lord. You will see movement that will evict the imposters. I am opening up the way. This is the day of my vengeance. I am taking back what is mine. Take the goods, the spoils, go into the world and make disciples. Do not get caught up in religion. Shake the dust off your feet. Enter into the throne room of God. Enter into the holy of holies. Do not participate with those who seek honor. I am wiping my feet of these. Only those who seek me with all of their heart shall find me. These are the ones my heart longs for. I will fall on my chosen ones. I will make my home with them. Justice shall be done. I shall smite the enemy and take back what belongs to me. I shall take it out of the hands of the performers. I shall take away the covering and expose pretenders. Outward appearances are going. I am shuffling. You will see reversal. I am coming with my fire to ignite hearts with passion for the king. My fire will burn away the chaff as I refine my bride to perfection. This is the day of fulfillment of things promised. 
There is more, and I am opening up the heavens to release upon you the Father's love and affection. Take it to the nations. Watch, wait, and you will see what I am doing. I will show myself strong to you. This is the day of new beginnings. A new beginning is opening up to you. Believe, and you will see my power. I am moving my people forward in revelation and interpretation of the times. Examine the situation. I will give you insight. Know that I have an agenda and I will fulfill my purposes. I have granted to you my heart. I have given you insight into the depths of my spirit. You have been lifted out of the old and brought into the new. A revelation has been released, so do not fall back into the old, but progress forward. My authority shall go with you to tread upon the head of the serpent and crush Satan underfoot. I have given you authority, so take the land. I am the high priest, the one who intercedes for you. I have anointed and appointed you to bear fruit. I have changed things. I have brought about a new order. You have tasted of it. But now I will reveal my heart to you regarding it. Worship me with your whole heart and you will see a revolution break forth. I will take down the structure that houses a performance mentality. Those who participate are drawn because they seek honor. But I am tearing down the structure that accommodates the wicked. I shall crush it into powder. Watch to see me dethrone the wicked. Remove the sinner from a man-made position of authority. I shall reveal the truth and expose the lie, says the Lord. When you go in, you shall take the land and keep it. It will not be relinquished, but shall be gained ground. So be encouraged that the enemy shall not prevail. I will expose his schemes and dethrone him. This is the day of favor for those who are mine. I am moving my witnesses into places of darkness, and they shall take ground for the Lord. I have given you clear understanding, a revelation of what has been going on. I have given you great discernment. Use it to conquer the enemy and his works of darkness, to expose evil and make a spectacle of it. I have given you the rod of discipline. Use it to bring discipline to those who have plotted against you. Understand that the hierarchy will be broken over the people as you demonstrate my power in their midst. Take the rod of God and wreak havoc of the enemy's agenda. Use the weapons of war given you to expose the liar and to take ground in the spirit, says the Lord. When the battle is fought in the spirit, the results will be seen in the natural. Bombard the enemy's camp with every weapon given. Reduce his camp to rubble. This is the day when I am sending in my counselors. In this word today, the Lord is speaking about exposing those who are pretenders, those who are imposters, those who are not who they appear to be, those who are not his true worshippers, but who are functioning in ungodliness. The Lord is speaking about taking down the structure that houses a performance mentality and that accommodates the wicked. 
He is telling us that he will expose the schemes of the enemy and dethrone him, and that the Lord is using his true church to accomplish this. The Lord has given us weapons of warfare. They are spiritual weapons to do spiritual battle. And with these weapons, the Lord wants us to wreak havoc on the enemy's camp, to bombard it and reduce it to rubble. For those of you who may be intercessors, you can understand the power and authority the Lord has given his true church to war in the spirit realm. The Lord is encouraging us not to participate with those who seek honor because these are the ones he is uncovering and exposing in this day as he takes over the mountain of religion. The Lord has given us a revelation of what he is doing and he has given us discernment to see what the enemy is doing. His fire is coming and he will make a distinction between those who truly are his and those who are pretenders. I hope this word today has encouraged you that victory is coming to the true church of God. May we rise up and take our position to take the land. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.